Good morning. It's day 119. Today, let's see, I have the, the Kinsmans, North and South Kinsmen. Those are my big hills for today. By the way, it's only uh, 4.30. I'm all packed up, ready to go. This is how I'm starting out. Very slow progress. It's wet, it's muddy, it's icy. I'm pretty much walking down a creek. So I did fall back there, fell on my butt. No damage. So I've been at this for 45 minutes and uh, I've gone 0.3 miles. What fresh hell is this? This doesn't end.
it down. Wow, the north side of Musalak that I just went down is is no joke. I'm I'm feeling this weird mixture of awe at, at the beauty of it and post traumatic stress. Time for breakfast. This ain't no party. This ain't no disco. No time for fooling around. No time for dancing. No lovey dovey. I ain't got time for that now. I'm on Wolf Mountain. Not too much of a view. Those look big. I'm guessing that I'm going there. I don't know what they are. More waterfalls. This time I'm going up. I think I'm going to like that better. Today's been rough. Um, the majority of the trail has been class three, which is kind of what I'm walking through now, where you really got to pick your your spots. And I would say about a mile of it was class four. And I don't think I've ever been more than a few hundred feet of class four before today. You know how in the Tour, Tour de France, you hear about slope and 9% slope is considered pretty darn steep. This is, this is probably 50% slope. And yes, that means 10 feet forward, 10 feet up, and it goes on for a long way. That would be where I'm going. There has been cursing. Not really cursing. Profanity. Yes. Yes, that's it. I mean, come on. You think Jesus, when he was clearing out the marketplace from the synagogue, didn't have a few choice ones? This is pushing me pretty close to my limits. I'm up. I don't know who selects these trail routes. Some kind of jokester. The weather up here is spectacular. It's probably 65 degrees, very light breeze. I'm approaching North Kensington Peak. So tomorrow I am taking a zero. Um, one of my viewers reached out some time ago. And uh, so I planned a zero day while I was in the whites. And I figured I would take a challenging day. Um, right before the zero day, but I've clearly bitten off too much on this day, so it may be 8.30 by the time I get to the rendezvous point. Well, that's two kinsmen down. The view from this one isn't as good. I have five miles to go. 
and 2,900 feet to descend. And I have no reason to believe that the trail builders uh, will have any mercy on me. This is the site of one of the huts, the AMC huts. It's, uh, it's up the hill to the left. There's a little boat dock. We are here at Lake Winnipesaukee. Did I say that right? Not quite. Winnipesaukee. Winnipesaukee. Yes. And uh, I'm going to reverse this. Uh, we're at Patrice's house, and I am. I, had, I have spent my zero day with her, and we're going to now describe, from our own points of view, what happened last night at, at the end of the hike. Let's go ahead and do this. And so. We agreed on a rendezvous point. We did. Yeah. And while you may have looked at the background a few moments ago and seen a peaceful, calm situation, 24 hours ago, that was not so. Not even close. So and, I'm, you want me to start? Yes. Okay. So I'm coming down the trail and I know where Patrice is parked. And I, I know, I thought I knew how to get there. And so it turned out I didn't know exactly how to get there. And so um, I kept going down the AT to the Interstate 93. AKA Cascade Brook Trail. Yeah. yeah. All right. So and, the, these trails all have their own names and they're not that well marked. And they're not that sim and they're similar when he should have been looking for Basin Cascade Trail. Yeah. All right. So, so close. And. Yeah. So I, I hike a mile down past this trail that I should have taken. And so I'm on the phone and I, I, I still know where she is. I just don't know how to get there. And so I'm talking on the phone and, 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 and I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get there. And then I lose reception. And then, uh, it turns out I have two more miles to hike. Yes. And for, so she just stops hearing from me. So go. For about 45 minutes, I didn't hear from him. And I'm in this tourist attraction parking lot, and I couldn't wait for him anywhere else because the bugs had found me. And it's getting really weird because it's getting dark. And I had these conversations with myself. Well, how long should I wait to, uh, to call for help? Because I can't reach him. I don't know if he's okay. And so I finally, about 45 minutes into this wait, dialed 911. I had to tell the 911 operator that I was waiting for a man because I'm I'm a trail angel now. I'm waiting for a man and I know what his first name is and I know what his handle is and I've never met him. And so, and who would you be? They were trying to figure out like what kind of crazy lady is so this? So they, they came, they eventually yes. came. They Yes, they passed <laughs> it along. And so I'm still sitting in the dark. In the meantime, I hear from David um, and um, he's heading back up to try. Yeah. He's found the trail and he's heading back up or right. whatever he's doing. So there. Th okay. this is like another mile and a half backtracking right. uphill, finding a blue blaze. And by then it's pitch dark. I'm going by head headlamp yes. and finding this blue blaze trail that's very uh, sketchy, rocky. Yes. And I'm crossing this uh, this brook brook a pretty large brook in the dark in in the dark and and so <laughs> um you know it took another hour so on top of the 17 miles oh. that were rough going um i i was i was doing about two and a half to three more miles and eventually i made it down and and the then the Police were with uh, Patrice, what was it, 11 o'clock by then? Right, yes, because <laughs> they showed up, and, you know, that was kind of odd to see something show up. But they were they were checking on me because they were not sure I was, you know, on the up and up, nor were they sure this guy was on the up and up, okay? <laughs> and so they kind of gave me a lesson on how to be safe, and I said, I'm not worried about being safe. This guy is a good guy. And I, and, and I said, you go down. And they were like, well, you, they had to go down and check the, the Cascade Brook Trail to make sure the blaze wasn't white yeah. because I'd already heard from him and I knew he was on the blue blaze, all right? Yeah. And so I knew he was on his way and they came back with their tails yeah. between their legs and had to admit that I was right and they were wrong. <laughs> so, um, so many things went wrong. Exactly. And, and then yeah. all of a sudden, 
one of the officers, well, you called and you said you found it. You yeah. found the three benches because right. I said, look for three benches and a sign. And you called. And right about that time, they had seen lights flickering in the distance. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. He called and he walked through a tunnel and bingo, there he was. Yeah. And I, having never met him, <laughs> ran up to him and gave him the biggest tra the biggest hug he's ever had from a yeah. stranger, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> and so I want to thank you, Patrice, for hanging in there. And You're as so I welcome. as I floundered in the dark in the woods well, trying to find my way. Well, and I could have done better as you know, as I realized. I should have just called New Hampshire Fish and Game up front and said, Where's the best best place to meet? this yeah, guy on yeah. the AT. Well, you live and learn and you do learn from your mistakes. So here we are. We had a great day today. We're good friends. He's back on the trail tomorrow and I'm going to miss this dear man. All right. I'll, <laughs> I'll miss you too. And good night, everybody. <laughs>